So we know that k squared equals m squared, meaning k multiplied times itself sits at the exact same spot in the number line as uh, when m is multiplied times itself. The problem with taking an unknown number and multiplying it times itself, in other words, the problem with squaring a number is that the result hides which side of zero the number came from. This is because if you did come from the left side of zero, if you were a negative number, once you multiply yourself times yourself, you're going to be positive because the negative symbols cancel out. So for example, negative 7 multiplied by negative 7 would just be 49. And so if that's always going to happen, meaning no matter which point on the number line you took and you squared it, you're going to end up either to the right of zero or at zero if you were zero, then that presents a real challenge. It's, it's a little bit like showing up at the movie theater halfway through the movie and you know, it's very dramatic and then the characters are throwing dishes at each other, they're clearly very angry, but you get this kind of uncomfortable feeling of, I don't know what led up to this, I don't know why they're angry at each other. And I, it would be good if you can develop that uncomfortable feeling whenever you see an even exponent on top of an unknown. For example, when you see k squared, you should feel a little bit uncomfortable because you don't know which side of zero k came from. Even if I tell you the exact value of k squared, you still don't know which side of 0k came from. For example, if I tell you that k squared is 25, you'll be left wondering whether k was 5 or k was negative 5. So that's the challenge with even exponents, but mathematicians came up with an awesome invention to rise to that challenge, and the invention is called absolute value. So we'll talk about that right after the intro. So as we discussed, with an even exponent, we're left wondering where the story started. Which side of zero did this come from? What an absolute value does is it says, look, I don't know which side of zero this thing came from, but I do know how far from zero it was. After all, if x squared is 25, then x must be five units away from zero. I don't know which side of zero, but I do know that it was exactly five units away from zero. So an absolute value is a way to say how far from zero a number is without committing to one side or the other. We don't know which side it came from, all we know is how far away from zero it was. And that's exactly the tool that we would have to use for the equation in this question. They're telling us that k squared is at the same spot as m squared, but we don't know which side of zero k and m came from. Answer choice E deals with that beautifully. It says, look, I don't know which side of zero k came from, I don't know which side of zero m came from, but I do know that they are both exactly the same distance away from zero because once you square them, they end up on the same spot on the number line. So the correct answer must be E. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.